हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल केटीज कॉमर्स क्लासेस टुडे टॉपिक मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्सन स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन पार्ट टू इन स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन पार्ट टू फर्स्ट वी विल एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ वेरिएशन कोफिशियंट ऑफ वेरिएशन इज अ रिलेटिव मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्सन द कोफिशियंट ऑफ वेरिएशन इज यूज इन सच प्रॉब्लम वेर वी वॉन्ट to compare the variability of two or more than two series according to carl pearson coefficient of variation is the percentage variation in the mean therefore coefficient of variation represented by c v equals to sigma divided by x bar into 100 therefore coefficient of variation more represent more variable and less means more consistent more stable and more uniform one question has been given regarding coefficient of variation and mean the number of employees wages per employee and the variance of the wages per employee for two factories are given below factory a factory b number of employees in factory a 50 factory b 100 average wages per employee per month rupees 120 in factory a in factory b 85 variance of the wages per employee per month rupees 9 rupees 16 in factory b in which factory total monthly wages is more that is my first question second question in which factory is there greater variation in the wage distribution per employee third case what are the measure of number one average monthly wages number two standard deviation in the distribution of individual wages of all workers in the two factories taken together first we have to find out the total wages paid by both the factories total wages paid answer total wages paid by factory a equals to number of employees how much given 50 into average wages per employee per month 120 Equals to rupees six thousand. Total monthly wages monthly wages paid by factory B. Equals to equals to in B how many workers are there? Hundred average wages per employee per month eighty five. So hundred into eighty five equals to rupees eight thousand five hundred. Comparing both of them, we can say. factory b pays larger amount as monthly wages that is my first part second part in which factory is there greater variation in wages distribution per employee first variance of factory a given how much
फैक्ट्री ए फैक्ट्री बी वेरियंस मीन्स स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन स्क्वायर इन केस ऑफ फैक्ट्री ए गिवेन नाइन इन केस ऑफ फैक्ट्री बी गिवेन सिक्सटीन तो स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन इक्वल्स टू रूट ओवर नाइन हियर रूट ओवर सिक्सटीन रूट ओवर नाइन इक्वल्स टू थ्री रूट ओवर सिक्सटीन इक्वल्स टू फोर Now coefficient of variation of factory A equals to Equals to sigma. How much we know? Sigma we know three. Mean given in the question. How much mean given in the question? Mean given in the question one twenty into hundred. Equals to Two point five percentage coefficient of variation of factory B equals to again sigma divided by x bar into hundred equals to We know sigma equals how much? Four divided by eighty-five into hundred equals to four point seven one percentage. Factory B. So according to the answer. Coefficient of variation of factory A, how much? Two point five percent. Coefficient of variation of factory B, it is coming four point seven one percent. Factory B has greater variability In individual wages, because from the theory we know coefficient of variation more means more variable. That's why coefficient of variation of B higher than that of A. So factor B is greater variability in individual wages. फैक्ट्री ए फैक्ट्री बी सी पार्ट नंबर ऑफ एम्प्लॉइज एन वन इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी N2 equals to 100. This is combined set. That is capital N equals to N1 plus N2 equals to 50 plus 100 equals to 150. Mean 
x1 bar equals to 120 x2 bar equals to 85 we have to find out combined mean that is the question sigma equals to 3 equals to 4 combined HD equals to question 1 now first we have to find out combined mean so combined mean equals to n1 x1 bar plus n2 x2 bar whole divided by n1 plus n2 what is the formula of combined mean n1 x1 bar plus n2 x2 bar divided by n1 plus n2 so what is n1 n1 equals to 50 into x1 bar 120 plus n2 n2 equals to 100 into 85 whole divided by n1 is 50 plus 100 so result will be 6000 plus 8500 divided by 150 equals to 14500 divided by 150 equals to 96.67 that is the value of combined mean now we have to find out combined HD while finding out combined HD variance It goes to N1 Sigma 1 square plus N2 Sigma 2 square divided by N1 plus N2 plus N1 X1 bar minus X bar plus n2 x2 bar minus x bar whole divided by n1 plus n2 sigma square equals to n1 hd1 square plus n2 hd2 square plus divided by n1 plus n2 plus n1 in bracket x1 bar minus x bar x bar is what combined mean plus n2 x2 bar minus x bar that is combined mean whole divided by n1 plus n2 so sigma square equals to n1 n1 means 50 hd square hd1 square hd1 square equals to HD1 is 3 whole square N2, N2 is 100 HD2, HD2 how much? HD2 4 square whole divided by N1 plus N2 plus N1 X1 bar, X1 bar is 120 minus 96.67 plus n n1 is how much n1 equals to 50 plus n2 n2 equals to 100 
एक्स टू बार एक्स टू बार इज एट्टी फाइव माइनस नाइन्टी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन होल डिवाइडेड बाय एन वन प्लस एन टू एन वन प्लस एन टू हाउ मच वी नो वी नो एन वन इज फिफ्टी प्लस हंड्रेड यार एन वन इज फिफ्टी प्लस हंड्रेड स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी नाइन प्लस हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन डिवाइडेड बाय वन फिफ्टी प्लस 50 whole square plus 100 minus 11 0.67 whole square divided by 150. Sigma square equals to 450 plus 1600 divided by 150 plus 50 5000. Plus 100 divided by 150. Sigma square equals to 2050 divided by 150 plus. Two seven two one four point five plus one three six one nine divided by one fifty equals to or sigma square. Sigma square equals to thirteen point six seven plus two seventy two point two. Sigma square equals to two eighty five point eight nine. Sigma square sigma equals to root two eighty five point eight nine. Sigma equals to Sixteen point nine one. So combined HD equals to how much? Combined HD equals to sixteen point nine one. A student obtained the mean and HD of hundred observation were worked out as forty and five respectively. It was later found that he copied fifty wrongly instead of correct value forty. Find correct mean and correct HD. At first. x bar equals to we know summation of x divided by a so x bar given in the question how much 40 summation of x number of observation number of observation 100 or summation of x equals to 4000 that is wrong Correct summation of x equals to four thousand minus. I will remove fifty because fifty is the wrong observation and correct observation is forty will be added. Equals to three nine nine zero. Correct x bar. Equals to three nine nine zero divided by hundred equals to thirty nine point nine. First, I find it out correctly. Now, 
is d equals to is d equals to root over sign summation of x square divided by n minus summation of x divided by n whole square now is d given in the question how much is d given in the question 5 equals to summation of x square by n n is 100 minus summation x by n that is known as mean mean given in the question how much 40 40 whole square now squaring both sides when I am squaring both sides 5 square will be 25 equals to summation of x square by 100 minus 1600 root over will be removed due to squaring both sides so summation x square by 100 equals to 1625 summation x square equals to 1625 into 100 equals to 162500 this is wrong correct summation of x square equals to 162500 minus 50 square plus 40 square because correct value is 40 wrong value 50 will be removed equals to or summation of x square equals to 162500 minus 2500 plus 1600 or summation of x square equals to 161600 now again correct hd root over sign summation of x square divided by n minus summation of x by n whole square now summation of x square divided by n one six one six double zero divided by hundred minus Correct mean, correct mean how much I got 39.9 full square. SD equals to root over 1616 minus 152 152. 92.01 equals to root over 23.99 equals to 4.9 answer find out standard deviation and coefficient of variation for the following data using step deviation method in continuous series interval given 0 to 10 that time frequency na equals to 9 10 to 20 that time frequency 4 20 30 frequency 5 30 40 frequency 2 40 50 frequency 50 now first of all while doing the problem we have to find out class interval then we have to frame mid value Class interval given 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 
ट्वेंटी थर्टी थर्टी फोर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी ना वॉट आर द मिड वैल्यू लोअर लिमिट प्लस अपर लिमिट डिवाइडेड बाय टू इट विल बी फाइव इट विल बी फिफ्टीन इट विल बी ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव From any one of the mid values, we assume twenty-five as assume mean. Let a assume mean a equals to twenty-five. Now we have to find out. D equals to x minus a. So it will be five minus twenty-five equals to minus twenty. Fifteen minus twenty-five equals to minus ten. Twenty-five minus twenty-five equals to zero. Thirty-five minus twenty-five equals to ten. Forty-five minus twenty-five equals to twenty. Then we have to find out d dash equals to x minus a x minus a whole divided by c. C is what common factor from x minus a. Common factor from x minus a. C equals to I am considering ten. So minus twenty divided by ten, it will be minus two. It will be minus one, zero, one two. Then I am writing frequency. Frequency given how much? Nine, four, five, two. Fifteen. Now we have to find out F D dash. F D dash equals to min minus two into nine minus eighteen minus one into four minus four. It will be zero. It will be two. It will be thirty. Then we have to find out F D dash square. So d dash square means f equals to how much given we know nine d dash d dash equals to minus two square. Frequency here given four minus one square equals to thirty six equals to four. Here frequency given five zero square equals to zero. Frequency given to one square equal to two. Frequency given fifteen two square equals to sixty. Now summation f d dash square equals to sixty two. Sixty-six, hundred. A equals to summation A equals to thirty-five. Summation F D dash equals to ten. Now X bar mean. X bar equals to a plus summation f d dash divided by summation f into c equals to twenty five plus f d dash equals to ten summation f thirty five into ten equals to Twenty-five 
plus 2.86 equals to 27.86. Now we have to find out SD. SD goes to root over sign if d dash square divided by summation if minus if d dash divided by summation if whole square into c equals to if d dash square equals how much we know 102 divided by 35 minus summation f d dash summation f d dash 10 divided by 35 whole square into c equals to root of a sign it will be 2.91 minus 0 0.08 into 10 equals to 2.83 root root over 2.83 into 10 equals to 1.682 into 10 equals to 16.82 now coefficient of variation equals to SD divided by mean into 100. SD how much? 16.82 divided by 27.86 into 100 equals to 60.4 percentage. 